Have you ever had one of those days where you can't really fall asleep? During the night you toss and turn and you can't really sleep well? And then you end up being tired as hell the next day. Here we go again. And have you ever wished that you could wake up feeling energized, refreshed and ready to conquer the day? Well, what if you could? What if the secret lies in the last few hours before you go to bed? You probably know this, but you still have no good night routine. So let's fix that today. It's gonna be quick. So today in this video, I'm gonna share with you five things that you should do every single night. If you do those, you can vastly improve your sleep and therefore really improve the quality of your life. Because I can tell you, I was once like you. I was struggling to have a good night routine, probably didn't even really care. And therefore, of course, I had pretty bad sleep as well. I woke up feeling drained and struggled to be energized throughout the entire day. And the lack of high quality sleep was affecting my attention, my grades, my health, my performance in the gym, and probably even my social life. But today, I often fall asleep at 9 p.m. and feel good when I wake up at five the next morning. So what are the secrets? Let's start with number one, reading. Have you ever tried reading a book before you go to bed? That shit makes me tired as hell. Of course it does. It's tiring for your eyes and you also don't get that blue light from your screen. And the best thing about this is it doesn't only help you to relax, but it also fuels your mind with knowledge and wisdom. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? So maybe swap your phone for a good book and get tired within minutes. Next up are blue light blocking glasses. If you have to use a screen, make sure to wear these glasses. And even if you read, they will still help to fall asleep even better. Because those blue light blocking glasses, who would have thought, block the blue light. That means they filter out the harmful light from your screens. Because when that light gets in your eyes, it really messes with your sleep cycle. So I would really advise everyone to get blue light blocking glasses. They're like 10 bucks on Amazon, but it really does work and they really can improve your sleep a lot. So if you actually want to invest in yourself, like you always say you do, that is a good investment. And if you want those, I'm gonna link them in the description, but you can get any other pair as well. But they do look pretty nice though. The third nightly habit is to cut your distractions. The smartphone is probably your biggest distraction. And it's also the thing that keeps you awake for longer than you actually should. All the notifications, the mindless scrolling, and just one more game of Clash Royale are your sleep killers. So if you really want to have a healthy sleep cycle, you want good sleep and good mental health, just make it a habit to put your phone away before you go to bed. At least like 30 minutes. I mean, that is possible. Come on. You don't have to do two or three hours, even though I probably would suggest an hour before, but at least like 30 minutes before you go to bed, change your clothes, go to bed, then you read 20 minutes, and then you're gonna sleep like a baby. Just put your phone away before you go to bed if you want good sleep, and also if you want to do something good for your mind as well. You don't need to be on your phone all day. Next up is journaling. Reflect on your day. What happened, what you did, your thoughts, Thoughts, pretty much anything you want. But some self-reflection is, in my opinion, really important. And what better time than at the end of the day, right? It helps to clear your mind and it's also making it easier to fall asleep because again, you're not looking at your screen. And also, quite obviously, it's a great way to track your progress and everything that's happening in your life. This is the one I have, I can also link it in the description, but just get any journal. You probably don't even need something fancy like this because there's like a to-do list and everything. But just do some reflection at the end of your day and you can thank me later. Keep a story diary. Now in my other journal, I actually just write down some of my stories. I got this idea from the book Storyworthy and I must tell you, it's really cool and much better than I first thought. To be honest, I still struggle a little bit to do it consistently, but I just did it for a couple of days and it's been super cool. What you do is each day you write down a short story, just something that happened today or something you got reminded of from the past. Just take one or two minutes and write down really quickly a little story, just two, three sentences and that's all you need. And suddenly you have stories. Suddenly your life is interesting and exciting because you remember what happened in your life. And don't lie to me, you won't remember it by just thinking about it. But when you write those stories down, you suddenly have stories about your life and that makes your life so much more more exciting. It really does work and I want you 
to just try it out for a couple of days yourself. I will actually make another separate video about this because I think it's so cool. But really that's all you need to know. Just write down one story every single evening before you go to bed and you will realize that your life suddenly feels much richer. And if you do all those things every single night, I guarantee you, your sleep will improve, you will have more energy the next day, you will have a more interesting life, better mental health and more productive days as well. So what color is your nightly routine? Let me know if you would add something. I'm really curious to hear your opinions. And then remember, the quality of your day begins the night before. And with that being said, stay useful and bye.